cleaning your tub can seem like a scary, overwhelming, even backbreaking chore, but it's not. In fact, there's a really easy way to do it and I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. And just before we get to the scrubbing, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you need to clean your bathroom. What does a dirty tub actually mean? Well, first, it means, if you have any of this on your head, that there's probably hair in the tub, guilty. And there's also soap scum in the tub. And if you wanna know what soap scum is, it's a disgusting slurry of dead skin cells, dirt from your body, oil from your body, oil from your products, and all the remnants that come out of soap and shampoo. And it all kind of mixes together, it's wet going down, and then when all the water dries up, what's left behind is soap scum. And that stuff will look gray and might feel a little bit sticky or gritty if you run your hand along it. It might look kind of stripey along the sides of your tub. You'll know it if you see it. Don't confuse soap scum with bacteria. There's nothing in soap scum that can actually hurt you. It's just gross. Now there are three different kinds of tubs that you might encounter. There's cast iron, which are beautiful, claw-footed, gorgeous looking things. I don't have that in my house. There's acrylic or fiberglass tubs, which kind of feel plasticky. And then there is what I'm standing in, which is just an enameled tub. And that's what we're going to clean today. Now, if you do have the other types of tubs, you wanna make sure that you're using the appropriate cleaning products and tools obviously nothing that scratches because both of those finishes are quite delicate. There are tons of different products out there for cleaning your tub and they probably all work really well. I am going to keep it simple today and just make my own recipe. It's with ingredients you probably already have. Just get yourself a mixing bowl and add equal parts of baking soda and dish soap. Here I'm using about a quarter cup of each. This recipe does not keep well, so you're gonna use it and then you gotta get rid of it. Now I'm also adding about 10 drops of essential oil. Today I've chosen grapefruit because I really like the smell and because citrus actually helps break down soap scum. I'm gonna mix this together really well and there's your recipe. Just a quick note, if you plan to clean your shower tiles and your tub at the same time, do your tiles first. We have a video on that. I'll link it for you down below. And then do your tub after. You want to keep your tub dry until the very end. Here's a quick tip to make sure your knees don't take a beating while you're scrubbing your tub. Take a towel and fold it up a few times so that it's nice and thick. Then rest your knees on the towel and that will make this process much more comfortable. Start with a dampened sponge and dip it into the mixture that you've created. Apply that onto the tub. What you're doing here is essentially giving your tub a facial mask, if you will. You're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes or so. The product is gonna start to work by breaking down all that soap scum and the baking soda will really help get rid of any of that stuff that's really stuck on. Now, when the time comes, wet your sponge again and start at the back section of your tub, working section by section Use the scrubby side of your sponge and just work your way back and forth using an S pattern, scrubbing as needed. Now, if you encounter an area that is particularly scummy, you can give it a bit of a buff in a circular motion. And if you wanna check to see if the soap scum is gone, just run your finger along that area of the tub. If it feels nice and smooth, there's no more soap scum. Now work your way all the way down to the end of the tub. When it's all done, give it a good rinse. You might want to use a container to do this or a removable shower head if you have one. Once it's rinsed and there's no more product left behind, either use a squeegee to get rid of the moisture or you can use a nice, thick, absorbent towel. And might I recommend a maker's microfiber cloth to do that? Even though it might have seemed like an overwhelming job, I hope we've shown you that it takes like five minutes to clean your tub. It is so not a big deal. So I hope this video has inspired you to go and clean your bathtub and then you get to reward yourself with a nice warm bath. This week's comment question is, are you a shower person or are you a bath person? I remember when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was move out of the bath phase and get to showering. But now as an adult, I feel like, oh, baths are so nice. What would I give to take a nice warm bath every night? So let me know in the comments down below what you prefer. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.